something a little uh, out of the ordinary. This is a, uh, for me anyway, this is a Jefferson Golden Helm uh, clock from, this one's approximately 1955-56. Uh, the design is originally a, uh, I believe it was uh, a, a Scandinavian design, but this was made in America uh, in the 50s, and they were very popular. It was called a mystery clock. It's also a cousin to the, uh, the uh, Golden Hour mystery clock. And it was a mystery because there's no apparent connection between the uh, the hands and the motor. And uh, it's not as difficult once you see how they work. And how they work is the actual glass itself is what moves. And the glass moves by way of this, we have another one here apart, this giant ring that goes all the way around the glass. Here's the glass here. But this ring has gear teeth in it, and there it is. The glass sits inside the uh, sits inside the gear ring like that. It's supposed to be there's supposed to be adhesive on this. If you have one that's, that has come off the adhesive, you got to reattach it, and probably uh, rear view mirror cement something like that will work fine. Because if you don't reattach it, it will slip and it will either lose time or gain time. Um, but anyway, and that meshes with this gear, which is down in the base of the clock. It meshes with that gear of this reduction unit. This is a 1 12th RPM. So in other words, this will make one continuous circle in 12 minutes. And that's how slow this thing goes. You really can't see it move. You can. If you really concentrate on it, you can see it, you know, like barely moving. It has a typical, I call it a session style uh, a motor, which is the... Uh, you can see the visible armature of it uh, spinning, the rotor. Anyway, what happens to these things is the motors, the gears in the motors strip. The common uh, thing, you'll see these for sale on eBay. Well, the motor runs, but the clock doesn't move. Well, that's because the gears strip out. Now, these are unrepairable, sort of, but we know what that does. We know what unrepairable means. Unrepairable means we're going to repair it anyway. Uh, there's two methods of doing this. There's a wonderful website, and if you look it up, if Je look up Jefferson Clock Repair, and you're going to find a guy who's devoted an entire web page on these clocks, and it's wonderful. And his method is to heat this area. This see, this is soldered here. If you do that, you're going to you're going to probably burn the gear. There's one gear in there that's made of a phenolic, and you'll burn that gear up because the heat. you have to heat this whole thing up evenly, soften the solder, and then hope to God that you can get the thing apart. I chose the uh, Dremel with a cutoff wheel, and uh, you see I've already done this one. Make a cut all the way around the perimeter, and you've got to be more careful than you've ever been before, and especially up in this top area because there's a gear right behind that skin. And uh, if you cut into the gear, it's over. But once you open the, the transmission up, you'll see there's a whole pile of gears in here. And the gear that causes all the problems is this one here <clears throat> and this one. I'm going to take this out and show it to you here. I hope this is set for macro. I think it is. Anyway, yes, it is set for macro. Let's see if we can get a nice close-up view of this. Put a lot of light on it so that it focuses right. And see how it's all chewed up there? Okay, problem number one. Problem number two is the secondary gear here. Come on, focus, baby, focus. Okay, give it a minute. Okay, this is chewn up right in the middle here. There's an easy fix for this. What you're going to do is take, a, if you'll notice that the, 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 the missing teeth in the gear are in a, in a very narrow line, and there's a lot of unused gear material on this thing. The gear just has to be moved up a little bit. So what you do is you take a washer and put it underneath this gear here, just a plain flat washer. What that's going to do is lift the gear up into a unused portion of the original uh, mangled gear, and I'm going to show you how that's possible here. They left enough room on here that that's possible to do without destroying it. Now, if you see with the gears in place, you can move this up and down, and you have plenty of room. You see how much how much room you have there? 
you just put a washer underneath the gear that my thumb and finger are on right now. You put a washer under that, it'll move it up a little bit, and it won't cause any interference with the other gear, but it will allow it to have fresh new teeth to work with. This is the phenolic gear right here, and that's the one you have to be careful of. The reason it's phenolic, it's softer, and it uh, so it makes the quieter gear train. Then when you're all done, you put the thing back together again, and I'm just going to uh, solder it in just a couple of places to make it so it's easier to take back apart again. But anyway, that's the uh, a brief look at repairing the, uh, the Golden Helm and the Golden Hour um, Jefferson Mystery Clocks. They're cool. They're going for quite a bit of money if they're in working condition. So it's, uh, it's worth fooling around with them. And that's it.